Hey everyone, this is Chris Dunkel. I want to show you in this video something that students will see when they go to create a project where they can collaborate with others. So <clears throat> I'm signed in as a fictitious student. I can click on create new here. Or I can go to projects either way. If I click on create new, it's going to ask me, do I want to do a video edit or a project? Now, if I already have projects created, I can choose video edit and then choose the project. Uh, if I choose it now, it's going to just prompt me through creating a project. So I'm just going to go ahead and click project over here. So remember your videos reside within a project folder. So I'm gonna click on project, click next. It's gonna ask for a title. I'm gonna call it a practice. Here's what I wanna point out to you though. You've got three options or your student will. They can make a personal one where only they will be able to see it. Or they can do a collaborative one or they can do a shared one. So basically the difference between these two, if they make a collaborative one, which is what I did in drama with my students is that they will create one video edit and all the members they invite will have access to that video and can edit it. And when person A edits it, person B will see it, see those edits and vice versa. So this is the one that you'll most likely want to use if you're doing group projects. That way there's no excuse as far as why well, I couldn't get to the video because they can all get to and edit the video. The shared video is, in essence, like the person making an individual copy for everyone. So the analogy I use with my students is with collaborative, it would be like me having a poster board and having all the group members come over and we all work on that one poster board. In shared, it would be like me making photocopies of whatever I did initially and giving that to everyone. So if I draw on my copy, no one else sees my edits, only what's on my copy. Everybody else will have my copy of my initial thing, but if they edit it, only they will see it. So again, the one you'll most likely want to use is collaborative and you simply click next. It's then going to give an option for how you select the members. Uh, and so the students can do this themselves. Actually, if they click select member groups, they'll say next and it will have a list of all the members that we have, which are quite a few. Uh, but there is a search box so they can go in here and type in a name. <clears throat> and if they want to select them, they just highlight them, click next, and they can kind of continue that process. Uh, the other option, if they don't want to do it that way, they can do invite with link and click next. It's going to go ahead and create the project for them and then give them a uh, link down here that they can copy and then paste into an email or something like that. I've found typically just selecting the members usually works pretty easily and the students don't have much trouble with that. But once they finish it, the project will be made and then they can, um, in this case, we create the project, we hadn't done a video yet. So that when they go in to edit the video, all of the members will have access to these edits that are happening on that screen. So it's a very handy tool, especially if you're doing group work. As always, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask.